Well, it's the celebrity scandal that would have Scientology founder L. Ron Hubbard turning in his grave. And it involves two of the church's biggest names, superstar Tom Cruise and ex-wife Katie Holmes. Now, it appears their official Scientology minders have disappeared. Ben McCormack has this special investigation. You got it. Right here, right now. I'm angry. Real angry. All I know is that Tommy has just vanished about a year ago. If you're going to ask me that question again, I will stand up and walk out, Mark. He was someone who very clearly uh, was going to be very aggressive. If you use We're that term done. one more time to We're describe my done. religion. We're not. Tommy at his best was a great front person for the religious. Stop it! Except when he started losing it. You listen no. to me for a second. No. You're accusing members of my... He was the public face of the Church of Scientology. A smooth-talking spruker with Hollywood good looks, who for nearly a decade was the official minder of the church's number one pin-up boy. <laughs> and, and I hope somebody is shooting this. OK, good. But now the outspoken and controversial Tommy Davis has vanished. What's happened to Tommy Davis? Like everyone else, Ben, I, I don't know what's happened to Tommy Davis. Also missing Tommy's wife, Jessica, another high-ranking Scientologist with the full-time job of minding Katie Holmes. She was definitely Katie Holmes' handler. And during those first couple of years of the marriage, anywhere Katie went, you saw Jessica with her. So what has happened to the power couple of Scientology? Well, there are rumours that Jessica's terminally ill, rumours that Tommy's being punished, even rumours that the couple has left the church altogether. If they have, they'd just be the latest in a long line of high-profile defections from a church that's struggling with its public image and struggling to maintain its membership numbers both here in Australia and around the world. If Tommy Davis has left voluntarily because he simply doesn't believe in the church anymore, that would be a big blow to the church. Tommy's the son of actress and celebrity Scientologist Ann Archer, famous for her role in Fatal Attraction. Hi, darling. Her son was a Hollywood rich kid, perfectly suited to run Scientology Celebrity Centre in LA. And according to Peter Ford, the ideal person to look after their biggest celebrity catch. It's not extraordinary that Tommy would be assigned to look after Tom Cruise and make sure that everything was kept in check. It was Tommy Davis who helped produce Tom Cruise's bizarre tribute video to the controversial religion. <laughs> There's nothing part of the way for me. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> But it was this encounter with BBC reporter John Sweeney that made Tommy Davis world famous. Tommy, you suck! No, listen to me! You are not there at the beginning of that interview! I think that's one of the most remarkable filmed encounters that I've ever seen between a, a, a very senior broadcast journalist and, and a spokesman from a, a church or any other organisation for that matter. It's Tommy Davis. As Sweeney filmed a documentary about the church, Tommy Davis was with him every step of the way. You did not hear or record all of the interview! Do you understand? Brainwashing is a crime Do you understand? John Sweeney clearly lost the plot completely. And it, it isn't to his credit as, as a senior professional journalist that he did so, but very obviously he had been provoked um, uh, at, at, at great length and over a period of time by Tommy Davis. Award-winning journalist Quinton McDermott interviewed Tommy Davis in L.A. in 2010 for the ABC's Four Corners program. It is an enormous commercial enterprise, isn't it? Uh, no, it's a religion. It's a, it's a large international religion. In many ways, he was very charming, uh, he was very professional, he was very courteous, uh, very pleasant. But underneath that, there was very clearly quite an aggressive agenda. He reminded me of that ancient quote, the smiler with a knife beneath his cloak. Why do you recruit children into the Sea Org? Uh, actually, we don't. In his report, um, McDermott um, spoke to an Australian woman who claimed that, as a 15-year-old, she was made to work 72 hours straight by the church. 72 hours without sleep. Mm. And you were 15 at the time. Well, if that is actually the case, that would be utterly and completely unacceptable. Now, for a senior Scientology spokesman to make those kinds of admissions is very, very rare and would probably make him very unpopular 
with the leader, David Miscavige. Yes, we have an utter monopoly on workable solutions. David Miscavige is the head of the Church of Scientology and Tommy Davis's boss. I have heard that Miscavige is unhappy with Tommy Davis's performance and people point to a number of different things. One of them is this interview on CNN, where Davis lied about Scientology's policy of disconnection, which splits apart families. There's no such thing as, 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 as disconnection as you're characterizing it. And then there was this. Stop you. If you're going to ask me that question again and you're going to repeat things about volcanoes and this kind of thing and so on and so forth, I will stand up and walk out, Martin. Because... Journalist Martin Bashir asking Davis about Scientology's secret teachings of Xenu, an ancient galactic warrior who supposedly came to Earth and blew up thousands of people around volcanoes. Through Xenu and the intergalactic emperor. Is it true that somebody would die in that? It's very difficult to be a spokesperson for the Church of Scientology because you're asked to say things that are somewhat ridiculous. Tony Ortega is editor of The Village Voice in New York City. He's been investigating Scientology for almost 20 years and says it's possible that Tommy Davis is being punished by David Miscavige. Tommy Davis is a Sea Org member, and Sea Org members, when they fall out of favor, um, can be assigned to what's called the Rehabilitation Project Force, or RPF. It's a prison detail. They have to run around everywhere. They're not allowed to walk. They're not allowed to talk to other members of the church. And they have to perform all kinds of menial tasks. It's, it's a terrible place, and, and essentially it's a form of punishment. Tommy was nowhere to be seen when news broke of Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes splitting up. His wife, Jessica, had disappeared too. We've heard that Jessica may be ill and hasn't been around. And I have to wonder if that allowed Katie the space she needed to make her escape. The fact that she did not have a handler on her all the time. With Katie Holmes uh, leaving her husband and leaving the church and indeed going back to the Catholic church, uh, th that does no good at all for Tommy Davis's reputation or indeed for Jessica's reputation inside the church. If Tommy and Jessica have joined Katie and left the church, they wouldn't be the only ones. A woman named Rowan Horwich, who is L. Ron Hubbard's granddaughter and who spent almost her entire life at the secret international base east of Los Angeles, escaped from the base a few months ago. And she brought out word that somebody that had left just before her was David Miscavige's own father, Ron Miscavige Sr. And it's my understanding that Ron Sr. plotted his escape for six months. And if that isn't bad enough for the church, take a look at this. I am a writer, a doctor, a nuclear physicist. Hollywood is about to turn on Scientology with a new film called The Master, which is based on how L. Ron Hubbard started his cult-like religion. Why does he merely have the will of one man, which is the basis of cult? Tom Cruise is reportedly furious and asks the director, Paul Thomas Anderson, who's also his friend, to change some scenes. Anderson refused. It's going to make Hubbard look ridiculous. If you thought that Tom Cruise, Katie Holmes' divorce was a PR disaster for Scientology, just wait till this movie comes out. It's a fascinating story and for the record we made numerous attempts to contact Tommy Davis at the church's celebrity centre in Los Angeles but staff repeatedly hung up on us.